Hi everyone, Aldbar here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the level 4 heroic quest, the Storm Reaver Fresco, on the Elite difficulty. Enjoy! Hi everyone, Wardrek here. This quest takes place in the marketplace and it is part of the Sharn Syndicate quest chain. Here we're going to head over to the bank and we're going to access the bank from a side entrance. Yeah, here we're inside of this bank. This is the same as the Kondrak bank. Zircon proceeds through the door to the inner vault. This warforged must have impressive connections to walk into a house of Kundarak vault so blithely. We're just going to follow the warforged as he leads us into this vault. Get myself a thumbnail before we move on. Here you just have to wait for Zircon or whatever his name is to get over to this uh, vault. So yeah, this is a setup. He stole something and we're being set up for it. Now we have to bust out of here. To break out, you have to break these two crystals. They are extra vulnerable to Sonic and Force. And while you're doing it, you get attacked by these uh, Iron Defenders. The longer you stay, the more of them you'll have to fight. Now this quest has a few optional objectives and you are not supposed to be able to complete all of them. Uh, we'll see about that. House Kundarak uses only the finest Kanith crystals to protect its vaults. Normal weapons can chip one down, but such a crystal might be more vulnerable to certain spell effects. Okay, once we're done, you'll see that you have all of these lock boxes, and they're all locked. You only require one point in, to say, an open lock to get them, but if you do open them, you'll miss out on an objective. It seems the bank alarm has drawn the city guard. Will you need to kill these guards in order to escape? Here I have an objective to get past these guards without killing them. And you don't have to have a very high sneak for it. Here I'm also going to try to do another objective. And for that I need a hireling. Or a pet in this case. Or whatever. Okay, right in the center. Uh, where the banker usually stands. There's a lever. What this lever does is it opens up all of the lock boxes inside of the vault. The problem is the lever itself is not accessible yet. It's only accessible after you finish the quest. 
but after you finish the quest, then the barriers around it go up and you can no longer no longer click on it. So we're going to see how we're going to deal with all of that. I'm just waiting for the timing of these guards to move out of the way. I'm waiting to have both of these guards with their back facing towards me. Then I'm going to jump into the center. I'm just going to put my hireling slash pet over here and then run for it. We got one lever on the left side, one on the right side. I go for the left first because the one on the right side has also a chest. So rather than running back and forth a few times, I'll just do it like this. Security bars are blocking the exit. There must be some way to reach the last set of security bars. And there we go. Tracks. Technically, we've completed the quest. Now we can leave. And that is that. However, there's some extra stuff here. First of all, you see the barriers are back up. But now my pet's in there. And I can tell my pet to, or smiling, whatever, to pull that lever, which he did. This will unlock all the storage lock boxes. Now, mind you, once you finish the quest, all of these storage lock boxes all become permanently locked and you can no longer pick them. So, the only way to do it after you've completed the quest is by pulling that lever. Yeah, so there's 35 of these lock boxes. They're all full of junk. One of them has a portal. And look at that. Well, I guess we're using this take. <laughs> One out of 35 and I got the portal on my first try. Yeah, you can click on this portal and it will send you into another room. Since I've already completed the objective about not opening up the lock boxes, I don't fail it. So I got the extra XP for it. Here we get this big iron defender. As soon as he touches crystal, he comes to life. He's defending this uh, extra vault, whatever. The open lock DCs on those vaults are like zero, basically. You just have to be able to open it or knock it, whatever. Again, once you've completed the quest, you cannot do it. They're permanently locked, and the only way you can do it is by pulling that lever, which was locked before. So, this is my workaround for it. Here you get some loot. And if you touch one of these uh, locked boxes, well, springs a trap. There you go, and you get another chest for it. If you're doing this uh, mid-quest, you could use this uh, teleport to get back out. Yeah, all of these, all of these uh, lock boxes, they all have this chunk inside of it. Don't loot this stuff. You can't even sell it. It's worth nothing. Yeah, different random items. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. So once you're done, um, you can just walk out the front door. And there you go. We've completed all of the objectives on the list. I know this is a little bit of an overkill. Usually people just run to the end. Pull the two levers and get out. But yeah, here I want to show that it's possible to get all the check marks, get all the extra XP. And that's it. Once you get the fresco after the next quest, you can come back and get another reward from that guy. Also, one other thing. Another hidden objective in this quest. If anybody leaves the party, that means even if it's a hireling, he gets dismissed, you'll get a fatal state. So just point out, if anybody leaves too early, you'll fail the quest. Or don't kick out a hireling. Yeah, so that's it. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.